Hi, everyone. I'm Neil Michaels of Moonshine Post. Hi, I'm Hannah at Moonshine Post Production, and we are playing Overrated Underrated. Group chats. Overrated because I have an Android. Oh yeah, that I, is. I don't. I don't have the. Uh, I don't have the green bubbles, right? Blue. The blue. Blue. Are bubbles. you colorblind? No, no. Did we just? <laughs> no, I don't have an iPhone, so I don't know what color the bubbles are. Yeah, Absolutely yeah. overrated as an Android user. Um, I'm in multiple group chats, and I talk in them probably the most, and I still find that they are overrated. <laughs> Actually, just... but it's the most efficient way to communicate. <laughs> Surprise hug. Um, I want to say overrated. Because most of the time, surprise parties usually don't turn out as as much of a surprise as they're supposed to be, or as fun as they're supposed to be. Because it's always here's the thing: surprise parties are not laid down the line. Surprise yeah. parties are not about the person <laughs> in question. It's all about the person planning the party yes. and whether or not they're going to have a good time. Yes, so that's it's, very true. It's, it's very self-absorbed. No, like no offense. Like that's why I like doing a low-key thing, and that's why I like getting a better gift. It's all about the gifts, guys. Reality TV. Underrated. I, I, I used to be the number one hater for like reality TV. Like, I ain't gonna watch Jersey Shore. I ain't gonna watch this. I ain't gonna watch that. I started watching Love is Blind. I started watching 90 yes! Day Fiance. Yes! Love is Blind! Yeah, I, I, watched, I watched last season. I hopped out of whatever the most recent season is, but I watched last season and then I'm watching 90 Day Fiance now. 90 Day Fiance before the 90 days. And I'm just like, man, I'm, I'm so glad. My, my life is nowhere near this car crash in slow motion in front of me. I have just recently started dabbling in the reality TV world, and I'm really into The Ultimatum and Love is Blind. So shout That's out to too. Nick Lachey and Vanessa Lachey for making quality reality TV. Babies. <laughs> you don't want my answer on this. Uh... <laughs> Not it. Uh, they, are, they are aptly rated. <laughs> I know that's not an answer, technically. I love children. It's so cute to just like, you know, squeeze your little cheeks and be like, oh, you're so great. When they're not my children. Yeah, I'm really happy that other people have kids. In this economy, in this economy. <laughs> kids are overrated. <laughs> Ikea. You love Ikea. I do. Actually, I'd say underrated, especially if you're a plant person, because they have decent plants there. And the planters, actually. Their planters are really surprisingly cheap and, like, absolutely worth the price of going there. I, I think it's overrated for the hype, but again, I'm grateful there's one here because I have gone shopping there. Duct tape. <laughs> underrated. It's had a falling out. I feel like we used to make everything out of duct tape. We were, like, making the wallets. Um, oh God, back in the that. day when like <laughs> people were making full wardrobes out of duct tape. So like for me, it's underrated because like what it used to be versus like what it's doing now, holding on people's bumpers. Team pace. I feel we're both from we're both yeah. in the Midwest, so I feel like that's much... definitely un underrated because how many cornfields out there that you could just get angry in? And yes, just be like... big bonfire, some light screaming. Yeah, I'd definitely <laughs> say it's underrated in the Midwest. You, you have those people like making this silly, goofy Midwestern emo stuff, and it's just like you, you actually legitimately need that. Not not even like what is what is the phrase? No cap. No cap. <laughs> no cap. You you need some Midwestern emo. Absolutely underrated. Yeah, chocolate. 10,000% underrated, and anyone who's not eating chocolate is wrong. I would say it's overrated, especially when it comes to like cheap chocolates. <laughs> when you start talking about like Hershey's being like the best of the best, that's really overrated. That's, well, first of all, have you had the Hershey's <laughs> toffee chocolates that we just had? Those are like one of my favorite chocolates. I'm pretty sure that it was get... probably during the two weeks that I was just no, randomly No, they sick. just had them in the cabinet the other day. Right now? First of all, okay, those, well, they're I'm, gone I'm, now. I'm... You don't want to know how much I spend on chocolate a year. It's just really bad. I just really like chocolate. Dogs. <laughs> they're overrated, except for mine. <clears throat> <laughs> I think they are becoming overrated. I think that like when COVID happened, everyone went out and got themselves a puppy. Dogs are really overrated, in my opinion. I'm a, I'm a cat person, yes, but at the, at the same time, I think dogs are a lot of work. There's so much work. They are a lot of work, and a lot of the people that have dogs just do not properly take care of them. And I like, I'm thank not, you for, not pointing fingers. I know, I was like, I'm not thank pointing you fingers for in, saying most people, because I was most like, Most people oh. really do not take care of them properly, nah. and uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's quite expensive to do so, so I don't blame them when they don't. Oh yeah, like but, going to the vet for my two are like $1,000. God, yeah, it's, it's just insane. I don't get my cats like annual shots. But I also don't really. What? What? How is my cat gonna get rabies sitting inside of my house? That's a great day? question. Uber Eats. 
Overrated, that shit's so expensive. I'm not paying $25 for food that's already been added another $10 on top of that just because it's on Uber Eats, uh, along with another $10 fee for who, who, who knows what, along with a $10 tip because the Uber driver gets mad and doesn't deliver my food to the right house, door, location, state, unless I give them a decent tip. But I ordered something to be delivered same day from Petco and this the woman delivered it to an address that was completely incorrect for mine. But A, she has the address on the app. B, the address for the place that she was at was literally on the map that she put it on. She delivered it to when, you know, my apartment is not that. I and, thought you were uh, about to drop your address. No, I was like, no, no, no. no. <laughs> that was the front door of an apartment complex. So they can absolutely just go say hi if they want to know some leasing information. But point being, overrated, pay people a fair wage, and uh, seriously, uh, deliver my food to the right location, please. So I don't do it very often. So for me, mm. it's more underrated, but that's just because I don't use it as much. But if you're like doing it all the time, like some of our friends who order McDonald's <laughs> at early o'clock, in the morning, I wouldn't even be awake to be able to get the food. Like it takes, I will oh say it God, takes yes. too long. It takes, the way, the, it's, yes. yeah, that, <laughs> here's my tangent. I'm like, it takes way too long. Neil, are you over or underrated? <laughs> overrated. You're overrated? Absolutely. Why do you feel that way about yourself? Because I actually just verbalized it. <laughs> <laughs> I, have no, I have no firm opinions <laughs> on myself. I just, I said the first thing that came to mind. Okay. I'm underrated, I know that. <laughs> So what do you guys think? Uh, is everything we talked about overrated slash underrated? Tell us in the comments below. Wow, that was really well done. Yeah, that, that was, was good. really good. Very what good. The heck?